There's a holdup in the Bronx, Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child, cruise ships do it out the wild. Car 54, where are you? In Moscow, the long-awaited answer to our president's ultimatum came when Premier Khrushchev... Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt for a special bulletin. Hollywood, California, America's glamorous screen star, Teresa Tangiers, better known as Tessie the Torso, just walked off the set of the current $10 million production, That Naughty Night in Naples, and cannot be found. Until we receive the next bulletin from Hollywood, we continue with the news. <laughs> The long-awaited answer to the president's ultimatum came. Menu? Menu? It's Tessie! Would you please uh, autograph this? Oh, Tessie, Tessie, please, please Mary! Please, uh, uh, leave me alone! In his long-awaited answer to the president's ultimatum, Premier Khrushchev... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tessie has been found. At the moment, she is on a jet plane due to land in New York in an hour. The police commissioner has issued a riot call, and police are being rushed to Idlewild Airport to handle the thousands of fans who right now are jamming highways to get there. Khrushchev's answer to the president's ultimatum. Patrolman O'Hara, Nicholson, Steinmetz, and Tooney, report for riot duty, Idlewild Airport. The wagon will pick you up in five minutes. Oh, that's all I need, another battle with those Tessie the Torso fans. There goes my buttons. With me, it's always the buttons. See you later, Fred. It's those kooky fans of hers I don't get. They see Tessie the Torso with that figure of hers and they tear off our clothes. Half the force has to get shook up just because a dizzy blonde decides he needs some publicity. Yeah, yeah. all figure and no brain. You guys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Did it ever occur to you that Miss Tangiers might be a sweet, innocent girl just lonesome for someone who can understand her? Well, maybe that's why Lonesome here never got married. He's waiting for Tessie the Torso. <laughs> now, don't be stupid. I'd feel that way about anyone, even a cat or a dog that was being treated like that. Oh, we're just kidding you, Francis. <laughs> See you later, Francis. I know. It's, it, it's just the principle. As far as that Teresa Tangiers goes, I personally couldn't care less. <laughs> I think of you like that. You don't? I think of you as a great actress. <laughs> Me? A great actress? You're my favorite actress. You and Helen Hayes. <laughs> really? I still remember you in that last picture, Passion's Playmate. What a scene that was when you were in a bathtub with bubbles in it and your apartment caught fire and a fireman brought you down a long ladder wrapped in a towel. 
boy, what acting. I don't give me parts like that to play anymore. Oh, and I have a chance to really act. No. I won't go back to Hollywood until they let me play Joan of Arc. Attention all cars. Proceed to Park Savoy Hotel. Crowds jamming streets for Miss Tangier's arrival. Situation critical. Oh, no. Now they even know my hotel. Now where can I go? Say, why don't you try the YWCA? They got a swimming pool there. No, no, they'll find me, they'll find me. Oh, there must be some place I can go where I can just be a human being again. Ooh, ooh. What's the matter? My partner, Francis Muldoon, he lives in the Bronx, and his mother rents our rooms, and a board had just left. Oh, a little room in the Bronx with the Muldoons. And they won't make a big fuss over me? No, they'll treat you just like the family. That's the way they treat me. Oh, what a family. That's all I ask in life. Oh, officer, thank you. <laughs> Wasn't that Officer Tootie tearing the clothes off that blonde? I believe it was Officer Tootie tearing the clothes off that blonde. I haven't spoken to his wife, Lucille, in a long time. I'll call her. I'll call everybody else. <laughs> Are you selling something? Hello, Mrs. Baldoon. Oh, Gunther. Uh, she'd like to rent Mr. Nesselrod's room. Oh, I love it. I just love it. A seashell. How precious. I can hear the ocean. It's Teresa Tangiers. I know who it is, stupid. Mrs. Muldoon, this is Teresa Tangiers. How interesting. Mother, Miss Tangiers is a famous movie star. Oh, this is my daughter, Peggy. She's studying to be an actress, too. Please stay, Miss Tangiers. I could learn so much from you. Someone to teach. Someone to mold. Someone to carry on my art. Oh, at last, I have a purpose in life. Yes, roots are very important for the ego. What? <laughs> this is my daughter, Kathy. She goes to Columbia University. How wonderful. Someone I can talk to on my own intellectual level. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Muldoon, please, let me share this quiet and peaceful existence. Let me join your happy family. Please, Mother. Yes, uh, yes, Mother. <laughs> of course. This will be wonderful. My daughters have never had a sister. Good. I'll go and get a luggage. Uh, excuse me, Miss Tangiers. Um, uh, can I have my badge? <laughs> hey, it was pretty rough out at that airport today. Oh, our eye is out like this. Yeah. Come on, I'll drive you home. I'll be right with you. Francis, I'm glad I caught you. What is it, Gunther? I'm in a hurry. Guess who's the new boarder over your house? Who? Teresa Tangiers. Gunther. You're a nice guy, Gunther, except when you start trying to be funny. But Francis! Shame on you, Gunther, for taking the name of Miss Teresa Tangiers to make a stupid joke. But Francis! I'm so sorry to disappoint you, Hilda, but you're only the sixth person to call me up and tell me that my husband, Gunther, was riding around with a blonde whose dress was torn. <laughs> I may not be the perfect wife, but if there's one thing I have, it's complete faith in my husband. Who is she? A buddy from the Who is she? Who is she? Is that my baby boy? Well, Ma. Did you see Gunther? Don't mention Gunther to me. Why? But Francis Gunther's your partner, your best friend. Yeah. Someone must have told him he was funny, like the rest of the guys in the precinct now with the jokes. He's changed a lot lately, I've noticed. That's nonsense. He's a very sweet man. He's so concerned about us having that empty room, he's got us a new boarder. Now, you know my policy of having a nice older man who would be a good influence over you, mm -hmm. someone who could be a pal. Well, sometimes that's not possible. You can't have everything. <laughs> that's something you have to face in life, Francis. You can't have everything. 
I know. I know. Mother Muldoon, is my dress ready? Just a minute, dear. Oh, you haven't met my son. Uh, Francis, this is our new boarder, Teresa. Hello, Francis. How do you do? It's nice to meet you. I hope I won't be any trouble. No trouble at all. <laughs> well, now you know, we got a young lady for a boarder. Now, Francis, it may mean giving her food. She so wanted a nice home, I just couldn't get you. She, the girl is... Mother. Mother. It's, 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 it's,
Oh, it's you, Gunther. Uh, please take a glass of milk out of my hand. Yeah. What happened? Nothing, nothing. Well, now the bottle. Oh, fine. I'm, I'm, I'm just postponed that. I'm all right, I'm all right. I'm fine, I'm fine now. Boy, if I got news for you. Yeah? You take a Teresa Tangiers out dancing tonight. Really? Uh -huh. Come back here. Let me go, let me go. I could be in Mexico to buy by night. You gotta go. Dancing with Teresa Tangiers? Yeah. I'll die, I'll die. Come here. It's all set. If you don't take it, she'll be awful disappointed. Disappointed? Oh, well, I wouldn't want to disappoint her for anything. Girl, girl. now get dressed. I'll go, I'll go. But listen, come to Yeah. If you value our friendship at all, if you value it at all, you and Lucille have to come along. I couldn't face her alone. All right. I couldn't face her alone. I will come along. <laughs> It's your pants! Now, come on, get dressed, and I'll tell them that you're coming. Right, right, Michael. What'll I say? What'll I say? What'll I say when I see her? Uh, sorry, I'm late, Miss Tangiers. Just freshening up a bit, you know. This outfit is perfect. I've got it. You can introduce me as a visiting cousin, Yetta Karashinsky. Oh, what a funny name. That's my real name, sweetie. Fred is almost dressed. Say, Lucille, he wants us to come along. That'll be fun, won't it, Miss Tangiers? Yes. We'll go home and get dressed, and we'll meet you there. Oh, here comes Francis. Sorry I'm late. Such short notice, you know. <laughs> Take your coat. I hope there won't be a riot. Hey, look who's here. Hey, Mullen. Oh, please, no, no. I'm not who you think I am. I know I look a lot like you, but I am. I'm Yetta Karashinsky. Yetta. Yes? Oh. Oh, would you, would you care to, would you care? dancing. I wish I had someone to dance with. <laughs> Francis, Miss Tangiers would like to dance with somebody. Excuse me. Francis, I want to talk to you. Nobody recognized you. Would you please stop saying that, sweetie? <laughs> she wants to dance. I, I can't. I tell you, I'll die right out there on the floor. I'll die. You dance with her. Me dance with her? Are you crazy with Lucille sitting there? I haven't danced with Lucille since our honeymoon. Even before our honeymoon. <laughs> we gotta get somebody to dance with her. Say, Mac, you looking for somebody to dance with? Just can't seem to get connected. What's the matter with that? Is it all right with you? Be my guest. Thanks. May I have this dance? I'm sorry, I'm here with my husband, but this young lady. Some other time, huh, sister? You picked your wife to dance with instead of Teresa Tangiers. Yeah. How about that? I ought to punch him in the nose. You live with a woman, you don't know what you got. Can I have a dance, beautiful? Who are you talking to? The most luscious girl at the dance. Come here, you savage, you. Gunther! <laughs> Did 
Did you say something? You're having a miserable time, aren't you, Miss Tangiers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gunther! <laughs> Miss Tangiers, after the dance, we're going to have some improvisations. I think you'll find it very exciting. Yes. The first man on the moon. I feel such a feeling of accomplishment. I feel this weightlessness. <laughs> no, no, Bill. No, no good. He didn't, he didn't give us the feeling of, 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 of airlessness. You've got to feel the character. Anybody else? All right, Alice. Alice, give us an impression uh, of something in the news. Uh, Teresa Tangiers being interviewed at the airport. <laughs> to be alone <laughs> and bored with being so ravishing and beautiful. Gunther! All I want is peace and quiet. That was funny, Alice, but it wasn't Tessie the torso. You were just imitating. Anyone else like to try an improvisation? I'd like to. Well, I don't, I don't recognize you in the class. She's my cousin, Yetta Karashinsky from, from Scranton. Well, all right, come ahead. I want to be alone. I am not a goddess on a pedestal to be pawed and jostled. I am just a human being. A human being who wants her share of happiness in this world of make-believe. Folks. Folks, I don't think, I don't think I've ever said this before, but this young lady has just presented the finest bit of acting, the finest characterization I have ever witnessed in my entire life. Congratulations, young lady. You are a genius. Only a genius could, on the spur of the moment, as you did, capture all the the phoniness, the, the artificiality, the, the, the lack of intelligence of Teresa Tangiers. Oh, why, you, you. <laughs> Wait. Gunther. Gunther, come on. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, baby. Gunther. <laughs> oh, don't pay any attention to what that stupid director said, Miss Tangiers. They're just jealous of you. You have something they'll never have. I have? You're a star. Actors come and go, but you'll live forever in the minds of guys like me. I never thought of it that way. This isn't the Bronx. Isn't that Idlewild Wild Airport up ahead? I thought you were taking me home. That's right. Back to Hollywood. Hollywood? Oh, where they'll just throw a towel around me and make an another trashy picture. Like that naughty night in Naples. Miss Tangiers, you must make the sacrifice. Don't let us down. All right. I won't. I'll go back for you and all the little Muldoons all over the world. I'm going back. Oh, thank you. But only if they let me do Joan of Arc. <laughs> Not that naughty night in Naples. Miss Tangiers. Yes? As long as it's for all us little Muldoons, yes. would you just as soon make that naughty night in Naples? <laughs> what else? Hold up in the Bronx, Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child, cruise just to an idle wild. Car 54, where are 